Hello everyone, welcome to the another video of MBBS Info. In this video, we will discuss about the Sajanov University, and today we have with us Divyani, who is currently a second year medical student at Amsterdam you know, First Moscow State Medical University. So, hello Divyani. Uh, today we will be asking some questions uh, from you, uh, which uh, students have uh, regarding this university, and since you are student over there, you can answer them better. So, uh, first of all, let us start with uh, why did you choose Sachinno University for your MBBS? Uh, because you know Sachinno University uh, they have the highest fees in Russia for the English medium MBBS course. So, what was the reason that you chose Sachinno University? So, as I wanted to go abroad for studies for MBBS, and I wanted the best university there. And I, when I watched your videos and asked people. Like which is the best university there? So everyone suggested me uh, Section of University, and uh, as all the teachers there have uh, fluent in English, and all these six years are in English over there. So I went for that university. Okay, so like uh, before moving on to our next questions regarding this university and your life in Moscow. So uh, you just came back uh, to India after completing your first year. So, uh, how is the situation in uh, Russia? Because you know, uh, there is war going on between uh, Russia and Ukraine. So, what is the current situation in Moscow and uh, is it safe over there? Yes, it is very safe over there. Uh, only maybe the prices in vegetables have me rising, but everything is really safe over there. Everything is normal. Uh, you know, uh, there are swift transmission bans and uh, People are saying that there is a problem exchanging the money. So, like, are you facing uh, any problem because of the swift, uh, swift transaction ban? Yeah, like um, we have to uh, borrow money through our agents. So, uh, there is problem in uh, money coming from India, but it is happening. Like, we get our money. Yeah, currently, like uh, Russia and uh, the India also have started for an exchange in rupees. So maybe in the future you will be directly able to get rubles in exchange for uh, rupees. So in the future it can yeah, happen. Yeah. And uh, until then, of course, uh, we are always there to help you. And what about uh, the other things like uh, you know uh, some fast food chains have closed, and some stores have also closed the clothing stores. And also, uh, is there any major impact on uh, the people living over there? No, I don't think so. Like McDonald's have been replaced now. And showrooms like Adidas, Puma have been closed, but there are other showrooms and other shops. So I don't think that there is a major impact for that. Russia also like uh, they have their own uh, stores and they are of course replacing, so there won't be any problem regarding it. So now let's come back to our main topic uh, regarding the society. So now that you have completed your uh, first year over there, uh, so. How is your overall experience in the university and what about the education uh, in the Sajjana University? Uh, it is great, the education over there is great. Uh, the teachers are really helpful. Uh, like from studies and exams, everything went really normal and great. Uh, we had our exams now of an ad, so it went really great. All the professors are really helpful over there. And uh, what subjects did you study in your first year? Uh, there was an art, uh, anatomy and histology, we had exams of them and biochemistry and physiology, half of the portion we studied in the second semester and half of them it, it is in third semester, that is the second year. Okay, and uh, you talked about your exams, so how were the exams collected? Were they like uh, in written form or viva or like uh, what was the format? Uh, we, in uh, anatomy, we had all the specimens kept, the body, the organs kept there. So we have to identify the organs or the nerve, whatever it was in our paper. And we also had five uh, So we had questions given and we have to answer them. Like two questions and one situation problem. Okay, uh, now uh, actually, so you know, in such an university, there are like a uh, very few number of students because of the high fees of the university. So what about your group? Uh, in your group, how many Indian students are there? And uh, what is the strength of your group? And uh, apart from Indian students, uh, from which country students are there in your group? Okay, uh, so in total, there are maybe 10 or 11 Indian students. And uh, mostly there are from Sri, Lankan, Sri Lanka and uh, Iran, then uh, Egypt, 
most of the students are from these countries and what about any students in your group how many are there uh like overall they are 10 to uh, 11 indian students okay in your group yeah okay and uh, what about uh, let's move on to another topic which is like accommodation in bosco so you know in such an of getting a university hostel is very very difficult uh, their main preference is uh, russian uh, population and the students who receive uh, their scholarship right and scholarship is only offered to the students who wants to study in russian language so what about you uh, you are living in uh, the uh, the apartment so yeah. is there any problem like living outside uh, is there any safety issue or like anything like that no there is we are very safe in that city like till now there is nothing and the apartments are also great there and uh, they are affordable than other things and if you live together like three or four people it is great okay like, so let apartment so now you have like uh, how many months were you in moscow uh, you came in uh, second semester right yeah yeah so like how is your over experience uh, overview of the moscow city which is like a, a capital of russia so uh, i was only two months there and most of the time we it went into studies because the exams were there and uh, it is a beautiful city and very safe city people are great there russian people are very helpful so, okay uh, language is a barrier but we can use apps through which we can communicate with them well in russia like most of the population they don't speak uh, russian language but since moscow like is the capital so what is the scenario of english in uh, moscow like uh, do population some population know english or no one knows english um, the young generation knows english uh, most of the people doesn't know english so we have to communicate through uh, the app with them Okay, and what about your Russian language? How is it? Uh, I'm learning. I'm still learning it. Okay. But it is important to learn Russian language. Yeah, definitely. Your clinical rotations, uh, of course, are going to start soon, and your uh, duties in hospital will also start soon. So, in order to communicate with the local patient, you must learn Russian language definitely. Okay. Uh, so let's bring this video to an end. So uh, I have one last question actually. So, uh, what would you like to suggest to all the upcoming students who wants to study MBBS in Russia? Um, it's not like you have to take admission in such a university only because obviously it has high fees. You can go with other universities also, uh, but just keep in mind that it should be English medium for all the six years, and even your professor should know proper English, and uh, and it should be NLC approved, obviously. and you can contact sachit sir he will guide you properly so yeah the process will go very thank you divyani thank you for joining with us and i hope all the students questions are now cleared we will keep making such videos uh, regarding many universities and regarding education over there so you can get a complete idea regarding the university before going over there so thank you for watching and thank you divyani for joining us so see you in the next video have